Hey guys, my name's Drew, and today I'm gonna go over seven different things that can cause your Chinese ATV to not start. All right, so the most common reason that Chinese ATVs won't start after you have turned the ATV ignition into the on position is people always forget to hold the brake. You have your front brake up top and your rear brake down here where your foot goes, and you always have to hold the brake down when you're pressing the electric start. If you just press the electric start, it won't do anything. But when you hold the brake, ATV will start right up. All right, so the next thing that people tend to forget about is the kill switch, which is right here. If this kill switch is in the X position or flipped up, the ATV won't start no matter what. Even if you turn the key on, hold the brake, and press the electric start, you won't get any noise. It'll act like it's completely dead. But put that kill switch down to the circle position, pull the brake, hit the electric start, it'll start right up. All right, so another common issue, if your Chinese ATV has a remote kill switch like this one, you always have to remember to push the unlock button if you've stopped the engine with the lock button. So if you press this to shut off the engine while your kid is riding it, to turn it back on, you have to press the unlock button just like that. If you don't press that, the ATV will stay in the kill switch position. Okay, so most Chinese ATVs either have a battery hanging on the side underneath the rear fender or underneath the seat. This one, the battery is underneath the seat just like this. Another reason that Chinese ATVs won't start sometimes is the fuse could be blown or the terminals could be loose on the battery. So what you'll want to do is check these two terminals, a positive and negative, just make sure they're nice and tight. And then in this little clear compartment right here, if you open this up, you'll see that there's a fuse in there. You want to make sure that both wires are connected and that the fuse inside is good, that there's no breaks in the fuse. So that's something to always check. Alright, so another thing that people tend to forget about is this fuel switch right here, the on-off gas valve sometimes if you have this in the off position if you are putting it away for storage or you're not using it for a couple days to stop gas from going to the carburetor people tend to forget to turn this into the on position when they go back to ride so if the carburetor is empty or you don't have a lot of gas that's gone through the carburetor at that point um, all you have to do is turn this back into the on position and let the gas flow all right, so if your four-wheeler's been sitting for a while and you haven't really used it in a week or two, or maybe even longer, sometimes all you have to do is choke up the carburetor a little bit. Again, most Chinese ATVs will have this style carburetor on it, and this gold lever right here is your choke. So all you're gonna do is lift it up into the up position, just like that, start the four-wheeler, let it idle for a little bit, and then slowly bring it back down once it starts running properly. All right, so if you've tried all these steps and your four-wheeler's still not going to start, then you might want to just bring it to your local dealer or if you know what you're doing, check spark. Sometimes it could be the CDI or the ignition coil maybe has gone bad. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it.